As Uganda gears up for the 2026 general elections, internal processes have intensified within the different political parties. One Uganda. This has consequently bred divisionalism, raising fears that the next election could see an increase in the number of aspirants and consequently a blotted ballot papers for the most elective positions. This, according to political party actors, might see the cost of elections go up. In fact, for candidates from across all political parties and independents, the money is expected to flow like never before. So the, it will be very expensive for the Electoral Commission, both human resource and ours and financial resources. Electoral Commission has to prepare for election of 2026 starting in 2024. But regardless of this, some political parties and election experts seem not bothered, but rather call for a constitutional amendment to hold elections in one day in order to cut costs. We can hold all those major elections on one day or in one day. We can hold the presidential, parliamentary, woman MP, LC5 and the councillors and LC3. The constitution and electoral laws mandate that we must have this election between this and within a specified period of time. The parties are optimistic that holding elections in one day, the cost will go down. The way they hold these elections, they must pay their officials. I'll pick on one item. They must pay their officials allowances for three different days. And yet, you, you, if you held them in one day, you'll pay allowances once. Following the government's failure to hold local council and women elections due to lack of funds, election expert Henry Muguzi instead challenges parties to be sure if government has funds to hold the general elections in 2026. So does the Electoral Commission's budget now factor in uh, the possibility that they may have beyond 10 candidates uh, nominated the DULEF to contest for presidency. With an estimated 24 million voters expected to be registered for the 2026 elections,